You might remember when I bought this shell and LED online, just um, it's obviously it's designed to be a MR11 style lamp and I just thought it'd be quite interesting just to take a look at it mechanically and add my own wires and make a little sort of pendant light. Well, it probably have been actually cheaper just buying the whole thing. So um, I bought this one recently and it's the same sort of thing and it's designed for 12 volts. I'm not 100% sure of the wattage, as you'll see shortly. I'm not sure what they rate it, but um, the lens in the front, which I always thought is supposed to be clamped against the LED to hold it in place, it's loose. It's actually rattling about. However, this thing barely starts glowing at 2.83 volts. It is bi-directional, it's, it's got a rectifier in it. And as you step the... Um, I'll bring a, a bit of card in or something like that, so I can point it at it. But... Um, as you step the voltage up, it starts getting brighter, and keeps getting brighter until it gets to about 7 volts, and then it starts getting dim again, quite visibly dimmer. And when you finally get to 12 volts, dead on the button, it's a modest amount dimmer than it was at uh, 7 volts, so I charted that out in a graph. I took it from 4 volts when it starts lighting fairly brightly uh, up to 16 volts, which is the limit of the, that range in the power supply and I didn't really want to go much higher anyway because it is a 12 volt lamp theoretically and it, its power peaked at 1.8 watts dissipation at 7 volts but it, it climbed, I, I charted out as a graph it sort of climbed quite quickly, peaked early on at 7 volts and then it trailed down and sort of stabilised round about the sort of um, 14, 15, 16 volt mark. Very odd characteristic because it's not at, um, at the 12 volt of what I think it would be designed for. It was dissipating 1.2 watts. So <laughs> odd, strange. It makes me wonder: is there a chip in this, or is it just discrete circuitry? So, oh well, there's only one way to find out. So off comes the lens. Off comes the cover. Lens drops out. Is the LED glued in? No, it's just stuck in. It's just on heatsink compound. So that would not be good. The fact it wasn't being pushed down hard by the front of the light. So um, there are some screws in here. I shall pop them out. One. Two, and is there a third one? Yes, there is. So what are we going to find inside? Probably quite a small circuit board. We choke. Oh, it's a very small circuit board. Is it all integrated onto the pins, actually? Or is that actually physically stuck in? Oh, it's been gooped in. With quite a hard white glue. I see a chip in it. Am I going to be able to get that out? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out without excessive force. My, oh, I've actually just made a hole in my bench, but that's my <laughs> technicality. I'm just going to take it on the edge of the bench and see if I can... No, they are solid. It's glued in. That's a bit annoying. And it's not soft glue, it's hard. Oh, was. I think I may just have liberated it. Is that going to come out now? Yes, it is. Oh, it really is good over. Okay. Well, there's the bridge rectifier, the four diodes. There's a smoothing capacitor in the back. Is that for the input or the output? I'm not 100% sure. There's the choke and the chip. So what's the chip going to be, I wonder? Let's take a wee look. Given it's a chip, I'm kind of surprised that it's um, so irregular in its uh, power um, regulation. Or power irregulation. It says, oh, that's, I think that's supposed to be an M. MC34063. MC34063. 
063. Hold on, I'm going to write that down. MC34063. Uh, that does sound quite a familiar chip. I'm sure I've come across that before. So, um, yes, interesting. It's a neat little light, but uh, quite odd that the... Um, that the regulation is so weird that it peaks at 7 volts. I mean, that's handy, I suppose. What would it be at 6 volts if you're running on a 6 volt system? 1.6 watts at 6 volts. It would be actually be brighter at 6 volts than it would be at 12, which would be 1.2 watts. Yeah, it's, a, it's an oddity. Uh, not happy that the LED isn't pushed properly against the back by the... Uh, lens and the front panel. I'm not sure why that is, but it does look quite well down. That's odd. The LED does look like a 3 watt type. Yeah, strange. Oh well, that was interesting enough, but but not inspiring, but but interesting.